hello welcome guys and in this video we will be looking into right uh, what you have seen in the title we will be looking into one of the real interview experiences um, and we will be looking into all the questions that uh, that was asked I went through all the processes uh, through everything and I just want to share uh, it with you so that if someone is looking to you know, uh, get into BlackRock you will definitely benefit from this particular video so this video will contain a deep grilling um, of each and every question that was asked in the blackrock interview okay and this interview experience was for vice president role um, uh, which is the java architect role okay uh, the java architect um, is, is a very uh, you can say mid senior level uh, position okay um, sometimes we call it as a vice president as well uh, so this this was uh, uh, like a very good experience um, uh, uh, as as you know blackrock is a big big uh, tech uh, technology giant and also a big asset manager okay so uh, i mean the biggest asset manager um, uh, out there uh, in, in 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 all the asset management companies so um, uh, blackrock being one of the uh, uh, one of the big asset manager companies uh, will be, uh, i i just thought of giving uh, our a try and and it, it all went uh, very positive okay so just want to share with you if someone is uh, looking into and giving a try for a vice president role or um, a senior role in blackrock in in technology and java uh, java related uh, all the interview questions we will be covering in this particular video okay so stay tuned with me and if you have not subscribed to my channel do subscribe we will be coming up with a lot more real interview experiences and also uh, with all the preparation guide for interviews for tech interviews um, uh, the low level design high level design data structure algorithms java scala everything we will be covering everything just uh, you cooperate me with subscribing to the channel and that will give me a boost to create more such videos so without getting a bit of delay let's get started okay so of course first round was uh, the coding round okay and uh, and the coding round was basically comprised of uh, three questions okay all these questions we will go through i will tell you hints or solutions too for each of the questions okay so stay tuned till the end watch the video till the end and you will be basically uh, seeing all the solutions for the interview as well okay so let's start with the uh, with with all the questions first and then probably we'll go with the solutions one by one so the first question i was asked is a very common question uh, of multi-threading okay multi-threading if you have done multi-threading in java and if you have interviewed at few places you might have encountered this question so the first question was uh, print odd even by two threads at the same time so basically uh, there were two uh, you will be given two threads one thread will be printing one three five seven second thread will be printing two four six eight and so on so one will be printing the odd number second one will be printing the even numbers what you need to pr print as an output is the combination of three okay so first thread will print one second thread will print two third thread will uh, uh, print three and four and so on and so forth so this is basically um, no, uh, uh, a, a very uh, simple example of thread synchronization okay so we'll be seeing the solution too uh, just stay tuned till the end and you will be seeing what the solution is for this particular problem and and this is a very frequent and common question that gets asked again and again okay so so if you're preparing for any investment bank or a good company you should be aware of how to solve this problem and it, it's pretty easy i will just explain you and you can type it on your intellij or eclipse and run it by yourself okay so this was the first question uh the second question was uh find the first non-repeating character in a string so i you will be given a string say you are given an input a string say geeks for geeks you have to find the first non-repeating character so you can see that g is repeating right e is also repeating k is uh, also repeating s is also repeating right the first non-repeating character here is f so you will have to print f again uh, we'll be looking into solution for this particular question uh, as well um, in in few minutes uh, so stay tuned and the last question uh, in the coding round i was asked is uh, sort a hash map by occurrence of character in a string 
so you can see i was given a uh, say uh, you are given an input string say programming uh, so p r o g r a w m i n g this is the input string and when you convert it to a map of characters and the count you will get something like p1 r2 o o1 and so on and so forth so at the end of this particular traversal if you are creating a map from that particular string you will get this particular string what you have to uh, so as an output is uh, what was the requirement was to print the output as uh sorted based on the values so you can see r occurs two times m occurs two times g occurs two times p occurs one time o one time and so on and so forth so we uh we uh, was needed to print the output in a sorted uh number of occurrence uh format okay so we'll be looking into hence uh how to solve these questions uh, uh now okay and and let's see how 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 the solutions are for each one of them so starting with the multi-threading question right so the multi-threading question is uh, to print odd and even. Uh, it's a pretty simple and a, and a very typical question. Okay, um, uh, you will see again and again in the interviews. Um, uh, so what you need to do is basically you need to create two uh, two executable threads. So two uh, classes that will implement thread class. You can see here on your screen that I have created two classes odd and even both are extending thread and there is a common uh, synchronized object that is passed to both of them uh, so that is basically on which we will be playing on so that is the lock so object for simplicity I have taken object you can take any other uh, the lock then uh, the lock provided by Java as well here but uh, I have used um, object for simplicity and I have used uh, atomic integer num to keep track of whether we are printing the odd number or the even number, okay, what the value of the number is. And these two classes are very, very simple. Both of them have constructor, right? You can see from line number 11 to 14, um, both have constructor, odd and even, okay? And they both take the object and the both take the atomic integer and just set that value inside that. And the tricky part is in the run method. So of course, you know that we are using low level synchronization here. We will be solving this by low level synchronization here, but you can solve this um, with other concurrent utilities as well. We'll be showing more solutions um, uh, as I post more videos. Uh, so there are multiple ways of solving a simple pro uh, single problem, okay? So I have solved here using wait and notify. Pretty simple, you have to create a synchronized block because you will be using wait and notify inside that you have you can see at line number 21 you are just checking whether the number is odd or even okay and uh, if it is or even then you are waiting and notifying in the other else and similar the vice versa in the in the other, uh, other particular part where the even uh, class is written right so pretty simple uh, you have to create uh, basically two classes okay odd even extend the thread because you are trying to make a runnable they both will run parallelly uh, at the same time and create a constructor of them inside the run uh, you have to use the synchronized block and inside that you will write the condition for order and even wait if the one is getting printed or release the lock by notifying all okay and of course you are incrementing also at line number 26 so you need to take care of that as well so these were the two classes you create for synchronization okay and now you will be creating a main method basically okay and that will basically uh, uh, have uh, object lock so the common object what we are sharing that will be used as a lock and uh, we you will be passing that lock to the threads both the threads so i have created two threads one will be printing the odd one will be printing the event and I have passed the lock and the atomic integer to keep the track of the numbers like 1, 2, 3 and so on and so forth and I have started both of them um, at the end right uh, so you can see the output how, how the output is like first it will print odd 1, even 2, odd 3, even 4 so it's a pretty simple question of thread synchronization and uh, yeah definitely uh, pause the video uh, try to write your code by yourself and you will understand and gain a lot and and it's a very frequent question so you'll be keep on getting this question again and again so just a mindful just be mindful of that okay the second question was uh, to get, find the first non-repeated character so it's a very very simple question okay uh, it's a property of uh, we can use a property of a map to store the count and uh, linked hash map so that the uh, uh, sequence of characters like the occurrence of characters in in the in the way uh, they are stored in a character array is is also maintained if you will use a normal hash map you will lose uh, the sequencing um, how the character array was so basically you will have to 
create it on on the on, on the basis of uh, whether your character array is uh, is basically lo uh, is is having all those values in 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 the sequence what is present in the character array okay so you can see we have created a map okay of uh, yeah, the, this is the map we have created and then we are traversing through this string array and basically populating that map and after we have populated the map uh, we are um, basically trying to iterate through that map and return uh, when the occurrence is one so uh, you are basically traversing through the character array uh, one by one storing that in a map incrementing the count if the character is already present so at the end of the um, at the end of all the iterations the map will have the character its occurrence uh, how many times it is present and so on and so forth and finally uh, you will be basically at the end you will just iterate through the map check whether the value is one and which is the whichever is the first character you will return it okay so it's a very very simple question and uh, the last question was to sort a map uh, that was an implementation of to sort a map uh, in terms of values or uh, not the key okay as i as if you have to do it by key there are other uh, types of maps like sorted map and all those you can use which will sort your map based on the keys but here the requirement was to sort the map based on the values okay uh, based on the values what you are what you have got in the uh, in the in the map so it's pretty simple uh, in java 8 okay you can see over the screen um, it's basically you will have to iterate through the entry set okay um, and stream on it then collect and basically whatever the logic you are writing uh, for um, uh, for creating that uh, comparator is basically uh, by comparing the value of that particular uh, that particular map map entry okay so the map will have the entries entries will have the key value pairs so whenever you will be sorting that you will be sorting that based on the value and you can easily achieve that in a couple of lines in java 8 okay you can try this on your pc and it will definitely work okay so these were a few coding questions that were asked okay uh, post that there was a design round okay and that design round was um for uh, which was which went for around one and a half uh, one and a half hours okay and uh, this had a few very interesting questions okay so first one was a uh, design an lru cast with uh, both using a map and without using a map so you know that we can implement a um, uh, uh, least recently used cache uh, so least recently used cache is a cache in which uh, the least recently used um, elements are evicted okay if a new element comes in okay we'll be seeing a detailed video around the lru cache uh, so you will find a detailed implementation using a, a very simple map technique and without using a map technique both we will be seeing on on to uh, in in the, in the coming times okay so i was told to implement both lru cache with using a linked hash map and by using a normal set and a linked list okay as you know that uh, lru cache can be uh, prepared or can be constructed using a linked list and a, and a, a normal set so we'll be seeing the implementation that will make your life uh, a bit easy uh, to understand it in, in, in a more better way so we'll be uh, i will be creating a separate video for lru cache okay uh, and i will be telling you both the methods one is of course for where will be very short we will be using linked hash map and the other which will be using a linked list and a, and a set second question in design i was asked to uh, asked about if you are aware of event sourcing model design model of course i was uh, so i explained it uh, very well uh, what's an event sourcing model is so event sourcing model is basically a design paradigm in which everything is formed in terms of events okay everything we construct in in the in 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 form of states and events so say you have you have purchased something from amazon okay and uh, your Amazon, um, uh, you say you have purchased an earpod and that earpod cost you 11,000, okay, and the MRP was 15,000. So if I just store either 11,000 or 15,000, that will not show me uh, the exact uh, thing what happened inside the system. So actually the MRP was 15,000, okay, and after applying the discount of 4,000 or 4,000 something, it, it, it came, the price came down to um, 11,000, right? so this discount we will be we save as an event okay and these are the states like mrp is a state um, final price checkout price is a state and discount is an event 
so we when we apply a discount event to a mrp it gives you the new value which you call as um, the final price or your cut price right so i will be again creating a separate video this is a very very huge topic uh, uh, this requires a bit of understanding over on kafka okay how kafka streams work uh, how can you design an event model uh, event driven system that will require a bit of understanding around that um, and of course uh, uh, the next follow up question was have you used reactive programming so i have uh, used extensive used of rx java paradigm okay and that's a very very good library um, we'll be creating videos around rx java as well uh, pretty soon so uh, i was told to design an event driven system uh, using an rx uh, very very basic uh, model to how how will you create using rx java so um, that was the one of the questions that was asked finally um, a theoretical question like what what are the different cash eviction policies uh, and how you do you maintain a distributed cash over the server how you will you maintain its state and all those things so these were the basic design questions um, as i told you i will be creating a separate video for lru cash and the cash eviction policies okay lru fru um, and, and all those um and uh, yeah so this was uh, like uh, the second round and the third round was um the hiring manager round okay that was mostly focused around projects how uh, explain your projects and all those and finally the hr round okay and yeah, in which you will be discussing of course about the most most awaited thing that is your salary right so uh, so this was it like this was, this this the interview was pretty cool and uh, i was basically um given good chance to explain um, a good chance to explore uh, this particular role and i i did very well in that so yeah so the, this was it like uh, if you want uh, you can you know stay tuned on my channel okay and uh, my channel uh, will be basically having all those videos that are required to prepare for any big investment bank like goldman sachs morgan stanley blackrock and all others uh what not like every investment bank and big big service based companies as well of course we are targeting product based companies but we know that uh the level of product based companies is is a bit high and um, as compared to that of our investment bank and service based companies so we'll be covering everything that is required for an investment banking interview as well okay so so do subscribe to my channel and a lot more contents to come okay um uh you can check out different videos on my channel okay and stay tuned uh stay safe and talk to you later uh take care bye bye